over here by Prentice and Parker. Apparently a car, maybe not too long ago, hit a um, fire hydrant. And I'm not too sure how it happened, but I just want to show you the, the aftermath of, I believe the fire department had stood it up anyway, but it's off the hub. Want to show you guys what fire department has to respond to they got to respond to all different types of calls and this is one of them like it's probably they might make a small report found hydrant laying on the ground vehicle such and such hit it and put a note in for public works uh, water and sewer rather to fix it just want to show you the hydrant that um and these things are pretty heavy too so for you to hit it and knock it down, it takes, it takes quite a little bit of effort. So, there's the broken hydrant. This car can pass. Go ahead, buddy. What are you waiting for? Like, what are you doing? All right, I'm going to show you what it looks like when they break it off the uh, breakaway. That piece is called the breakaway, and they broke off the breakaway. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Lucky it's not California. That'd be water up in the air. <laughs> Yeah, at least, at least we've got the shutouts on the ground. That's a good thing. If this is California. We have water everywhere. But it broke away in the breakaway there. That's called a breakaway. They designed that to break off like that on purpose. So all you do is replace the flange, and replace that little piece, and you put it back on. Good job by the Boston Fire Department. All right, so they um, they respond out here. And... Um, If this was California, um, California has a different setup. So if you hit a hydrant, you know, this shutoff is, a, is above ground because um, we, we have colder climates up here, so the shutoff is beneath the ground. So if we had our shutoffs above ground, we'd have a lot more hydrant freezes and cracks and expansions and all that kind of stuff. And um, that's a good thing somebody designed it that way. And I um, just want to show you Boston Fire Department, we, Engine 37, I believe they come off of, uh, wow, where did it, I think they come from Huntington Ave, I could be wrong, I have to check that again, see the Huntington Ave or Boyson Street, one of those two, my mind slips me on this one, I think it's, I think it's Huntington Ave though, Huntington by Ruggles, I have to check my, brush up on my skills. All right, till next time, guys. Nez Porter. Just want to show you Boston Fire Department responding to a hydrant that has been knocked off the uh, breakaway. Until next time, guys. Nez Porter. That's where we're in front of 71 Princess Street. For those of you who don't know where we are. 71 Princess. Princess and Parker is probably the closest intersection that... Well, at least going that way it is. And I can't even see that sign. I'm not going to do any justice trying to zoom in on that. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong area. I still can't zoom in on it anyway though. Alright. Catch you guys on the next one.